quarterfinal number one of our eight-man tournament here tonight as the Mauler Jason Sherry makes his way to centre in, trained by Jason Lappin out of Jab Out Jimmy in Sydney. A big step up here for Jason Sherry in quality of opponent. And as JW said to the hammer out back earlier on, it will be a major feather in the cap here if Sherry can cause the upset and defeat Wayne Parr in this first quarter final. John Wayne Parr. Considered by most as a favourite in this eight-man lineup, you can hear the ovation once again as the gunslinger John Wayne Parr makes his way to centre ring as he has so many times here at the Chandler Arena. There is no bigger star in Australian Muay Thai and indeed probably no bigger star in the Western world of Muay Thai than John Wayne Parr. As he said earlier, they were meant to fight about a year and a half ago in Sydney. It never came off. Tonight is the night. It's make or break for Jason Sherry taking on the legend John Wayne Parr. Introducing our fighters for our very first Super 8 fight. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner at a weight of 73 kilos even. Hailing from Sydney and fighting out of the jab out gym. With a fight record of 40 fights and 27 wins, please welcome Jason Mola Scurry. His opponent tonight in the red corner needs no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. With 100 professional fights under his belt, he's come out victorious 72 times. Training in the Boot Chu Gym on the Gold Coast, he is undisputedly Australia's best ever Muay Thai boxer. Five times world champion. Give it up for John Wayne Park. Final blessing in the corner there from Jason Lappin with his charge, Jason Sherry. Well, Jason's the new living room hammer. <laughs> and we will be ready for quarterfinal number one, three by three minute rounds of action. The winner to proceed to the first semi final and take on either Cosmo Alexander or Jabba Askarov. Third man in centering the Murph, Brian Murphy. Michael Chevello and former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion Mark the Hammer Castanini with your ringside. It's JW, John Wayne Parr in the red and white, Jason Sherry in the blue and white. Nice body shot from Sherry early on. Jab two from Wayne Park. Both men very competent boxers. That boxing skill coming to the fore early on here. Of course, Michael, uh, Jason Sherry, everything uh, to gain and not a lot to lose in this battle with uh, Australia's pound for pound best fighter, John Wayne Park. So uh, JW is going to want to get through this one as quickly as possible and into the next round if he can. And uh, of course, Sherry, if he uh, causes an, uh, an, an upset here, it's going to be a massive. Uh, you know, massive sort of boost in his confidence and uh, indeed it could well be a dark horse as well. Sure, he's taken a real step up in his career already in 2009. Earlier on this year, he lost a controversial decision to US Thai star Malapet over in Los Angeles on a WBC show. A lot of people thought he actually should have won that decision against Malapet. And here he is again, stepping it up, entering into a tournament with the likes of Wayne Parr and Cosmo Alexander, Preacher, Tam Matsu, Eugene Eckleboom. Some of the big names. Of course, uh, speaking of the big names, you yourself back from Vegas and uh, the prestige Muay Thai event over there where it was promoted by the uh, the same promoter that uh, promoted Sherry Malapet. Yeah, Dennis Warner Promotions put on a great show over there at the Paris Hilton just in Vegas. Just interested to, uh, obviously, having a look at that uh, that fight night over there. How do, how do we compare? How I was about compare? to say, it doesn't compare, though, to Evolution. Evolution is still the bomb when it comes to Muay Thai promotions that I've seen all over the world. And even being there at the Vegas Hilton and being ringside and watching some great athletes go at it, still no one does it like Josh and Nugget and Evolution promotions. Of course, you, uh, you let uh, some simple gunslinging go yourself over there, but <laughs> didn't really like it. Beautiful jumping knee from uh, John Wayne Parr. Nicely done from Wayne Parr. No, I didn't like it. It's scary for me. Hannah firing a gun for the first time at the Vegas gun range at Block 40. A little bit too powerful. You can get used to it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Wayne Parr having fun in centre in here at the moment. Don't forget, folks, if you like all the action you're seeing here tonight, Evolution it is coming to Melbourne October 9th at the State Hockey and Netball Centre, Evolution Melbourne. Wayne Parr takes on a veteran of the game, 
Ole Laos. And also Paul Slowinski takes on Ben Edwards under full tie rules. Andre Munier, Andy Colgrave, Angie Parr, Dane Daddy Cool. All the stars of Evolution will be in Melbourne Friday, October 9. Get your tickets 136100 or go to ticketmaster.com.au. That one is going to be huge. Don't miss out. Evolution 18, Melbourne, October 9. Overhand right from Shering, just trying to get his distancing here. Wants to get on the inside and work those oh, hands. He gets clipped with the right hand. Beautiful counter shot there from Wayne Parr. Right before the bell, and that'll sway it nicely in JW's favour. Oh, perfectly timed uh, overhand right. Sort of a right hook, rather. Just over the lead hand of Sherry. Sent him down. And uh, lucky that the, the bell went there, because uh, if uh, JW would have been able to uh, capitalise on that knockdown, you see Sherry just uh, lose his legs momentarily. And the three minutes down, and you can already see the difference in class, can't you, between Wayne Parr and Jason Sherry. Full credit for Sherry for giving it a go here, but I see him being completely outclassed at the moment by Wayne Parr. Well, Parr's uh, looking very relaxed and uh, doesn't want to sustain uh, too much damage in this first round. Sherry, uh, in turn, has just got to go out there, throw caution to the wind and, uh, and go bombing. Outside thigh kick, Parr checks it. And the second one. Make it three in a row. Finally, one gets through for Jason Cherry. Catches the kicking leg. And execute a sweep. It's been a good, clean, flowing contest so far. Hasn't been much grappling, if any, at the moment. And also a kickboxing contest. You see the grimace in the face as he throws power in those leg kicks, Cherry. Well, I was actually intent on kicking at the uh, the checking leg of, uh, of John Wayne, catching the uh, kicking leg, Cherry, now. But actually kicking away at the lead chin of, uh, of John Wayne Parr. Not even uh, sort of attempting to uh, to sweep out or indeed go for the thigh, just chopping away at the lead leg. Good three punch combination. Left hook, right hand, left hook again from Jason Sherry. You can see now he's keeping the gloves up nice and high as Jason Lappin is trucking in between rounds following that glancing knockdown at the end of the first stanza. Snappy jab from Sherry gets him out of the neutral corner. Double jab, right hand. Bread and butter combination from Wayne Park. Certainly one of the best boxers in Australian Muay Thai. Wayne Parr had 14 fights as a boxer. Outside thigh kick from Parr, turns him around. Tries to wade through with the right hand in the blue corner. Well, interesting uh, talking to, uh, to John Wayne about his, uh, his training recently with uh, Ramon Decker. Of course, Ramon Decker uh, popping over to Australia with one of his boys uh, fighting on an explosion show, I think. And uh, he was working uh, out of John Wayne Parr's gym. And the John Wayne telling me that the Dutch mentality, or rather the, the training style of Decker, is to not check the kicks but actually take them on the thigh and, uh, and counter with your hand strike straight off that leg kick. So probably a lot more brutal, but uh, at the moment uh, Wayne's exhibiting some good, uh, good checking skills and uh, good evasion. Sherry intent just to chop away and bomb away at whatever target's in front of him. Beautiful jam to oh! jumping knee and a right hand from Wayne Parr. Count being put on here by the Murph. Second knockdown in this fight on Jason Sherry. And once again, you can see just when Parr decides to turn it on. Spinning back elbow from JW. Double jab, right hand, high left round kick. Now turning on a show, Wayne Parr. And really stamping his authority in this opening quarter final. Another right hand smack bang to the kisser. And once more to the temple of Sherry. Well, maybe Michael, just uh, for the viewers at home, explain uh, the, the eight-man uh, tournament principle for, for the, uh, the uninitiated, how it will work. Well, the winner of this one, as Wayne Parr tries for a third knockdown off that right hand, goes into the first semi-final Ooh. against Cosmo and Jabba Askarov. It's all about preservation and trying to finish your fights as quickly as possible, especially in the quarter-final stages. To win tonight, you've got to run the gauntlet and win three fights in one night. It's a huge ask for any fighter as Wayne said to you earlier on at the backhammer, you've got to get the quarterfinal over and done with, with as little injury as possible, so you're quite fresh for the semis. And there's some beautiful work from, uh, from Parr as he goes forward, jumping knee straight over with the right hand again, and it looks like he's found an opening there in the left-hand jaw of, uh, of Skiri as he sends him down to the canvas again. Beautiful push kick to the face. And uh, Sherry now showing the uh, the signs of being in the war zone. Hammer, if you're Jason Lappin in the corner of Jason Sherry, what are you telling him to do here in the third round, having been knocked down twice already? I think he needs to keep his uh, his left hand up and look out for that overhand right and the hooking right. That's that's probably you know being a little to his undoing. Also, 
instead of standing in front of, of uh, JW, he needs, he needs to uh, probably move to his right more and stay away from that from JW's right hand. He seems to be moving to his left, which is uh, is putting him right in the uh, in the shot zone for that right hand at the, uh, the overhand right. You see Wayne Parr digs way to the liver, then goes back upstairs, working all levels here and continually putting Jason Cherry on the back foot again. Liver shot, outside thigh kick. Turns him oh, around, overhand elbow, right. outside thigh kick. It's all scoring technique here from Wayne Parr, and he is just oozing confidence. And uh, of course, uh, it's great to see uh, Wayne Parr just showcasing some great skills and uh, and putting uh, everything into play: kicks, punches, jumping knees. And uh, he's even throwing the, uh, the spinning elbows and elbow strikes as well. So he's showcasing all eight weapons of Muay Thai, as he will be doing against uh, Ole Larson in Melbourne on the 9th of October. That's going to be a cracker of a fight night. Cannot wait for that one. I know so many people already have emailed me on Facebook and said, Shiv, we've got our tickets for it. We're going to be there October 9. Going to be the biggest night of Muay Thai action Melbourne has ever seen. Jab outside, thigh kick again from Wayne Park. Time is now the enemy of Jason Shuri to win this one. Well, it's not a rocket science. You don't have to be a genius to work out the math on it. Shuri has to knock out Wayne Parr. Chances of that happening, O'Hammer? Same as me growing an afro. <laughs> Goodbye, we. <laughs> oh, Overhand again. elbow again from Parr. A win here for Wayne Parr sets up a semi final against. Either Cosmo Alexander or Jabba Askarov, both of whom Wayne holds victories over. Good removal of the target there for uh, JW. He's checked a lot of Skiri's low kicks, but he's actually on that last exchange. You'll see him now just switching out that lead, thigh lead leg, not uh, letting it be out there for uh, for any contact anymore. And that in turn will throw Sherry's body weight out. So if he's not meeting a solid object, it does slightly turn him off. So uh, JW removal of the target, which is the lead thigh. New tactic, uh, working a little better there. You see it again from him. So uh, he needs to capitalise on that, switch straight back and maybe land something on Scary. But Scary, a lot of heart, pushing forward and uh, gutsy little fighter as he takes a quick trip to the canvas. But uh, the boy from Sydney, Jason Scary, certainly come here to fight on this big evolution show and uh, doing a job out Jim Proud. Bit of the Sugar Ray oh, shuffle here oh, from oh. Wayne Parr, oozing confidence. And now... He is just schooling Jason Sherry. <laughs> Have a look at Pa playing with right. Sherry. Sherry a little frustrated, tries to duke it out in the red corner, but to no avail. Pa is just three or four classes above him here, and it's showing. Gonna... Snappy jab again, puts the nose through the back of the head. Going to Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, all <laughs> smiles here in centering. This one will easily go the way of Wayne Parr. I take my hat off though if I was wearing a hat to Jason Sherry. He's gone three rounds with the very best in the business and he stood up to two knockdowns. Well, it was good for us for Scary to uh, war all the way to the uh, end of the third and final round and uh, doing the math it's uh, very simple even though I won't get this one wrong and it will go the way of uh, John Wayne Parr no doubt. The judges scorecards is in. Moving into the semi-finals of the Super 8 tournament John Wayne Parr. Never doubt about it, Wayne Parr is through. He will now face the winner of Cosmo Alexander and Jabba Askew.